Hello guys, today I can proudly present my another new course on my Teachable platform, which is course number 33. I'm shocked generally by this number myself. So this course is about filament admin panel package. And now on YouTube, I will publish three videos from this course, so the very beginning. And if you want the full course or you don't want to wait for upcoming days for those three videos, and if you want to get access to GitHub repository, then you can purchase the full course. The link will be in the description below or subscribe to the yearly membership, which will give you all 33 courses. So today you will see the video with filament installation, how it works and how to restrict the user to log in. Let's go. So our starting point in this course is existing Laravel project, but just with the backend functionality without any admin panel or anything visually. So in the database, you have stuff like products, like payments, I've seeded some fake data, like vouchers, products with tags, products with categories and stuff like that. And now you need to manage all of that. And let's start with installation of filament. If we take a look at the documentation, first thing you need to know is that filament is kind of a global brand name, the whole project, but it actually consists of filament admin panel. And inside of that, it uses under the hood filament form builder and table builder. And you can use form builder and table builder separately in your project without filament admin panel. But in this course, we will use all three. In fact, we'll use admin panel and those two will be installed automatically. So to install that admin panel, all we need to do is, as any typical Laravel package, composer require. So we do composer require and then for upgrade, we may use filament upgrade, but in this case, I won't do that. We can make a filament user, but I will stop on that separately in a minute. Then we need to publish the configuration. That's also optional, but I do that for all Laravel packages, just in case we need to configure something. Then publish the translations, which is also optional, but just in case I always do that. For the upgrade guide, we may use this, but in this case, we don't need it yet. And that's it, there's nothing more to install. Now, how do we see if it worked? We go to just slash admin. And as you can see, we have login form. So we installed Filament. Now, who can log into that admin panel? And this is an interesting approach by Filament. By default, any Laravel user from your users table will be able to log in. So for example, I have some seated users here like admin and fake users. So at this point, if we don't change anything, any user with any role is considered admin. So I just paste here with password, password, and I am in the dashboard of admin panel, empty for now because we haven't created any functionality, but I am able to log in. Of course, it's quite typical to have users table with not only admins there. So for security reasons, of course, you need to limit that for only admins. And for that, let's log out and I will log in with only admin user, which is in this case, the first admin admin com in my case. And filament way to restrict the users is for user model to implement filament user. So that's one thing. And then in filament user, you need to provide a function called public function can access filament. It should return the Boolean can or not. And with the user like this, you can define your own rules, whether this user can access or not. At the end of this course, we will talk about roles and permissions, but in general, you need to understand that this function exists and as a simple case, we will repeat the same thing as it is demonstrated in the official documentation, authorizing access. Like if the email ends with your domain com. So let's just copy that into here. So we have this email. In our case, it's at admin com. This has verified email, probably may be removed. And this is our rule for the login. So now I can log in with admin admin com with password, welcome admin. But if I try to log in with any other user with any other domain, the user exists in the user table, but I have forbidden. So technically, by the way, I am logged in as that user. I just cannot access the admin panel routes. So that's the short demonstration of the installation of filament. Now let's actually start building the functionality.